Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today we got a big day because we got to get these bucks ready for breeding but first we got to run those does out to the pasture. So the baby doelings are doing really good with with the big does. Of course, there's some rivalry, a little bit of it, but but they're holding their own pretty darn well. And they're getting the routine. They're running out here with them. So they are they are the underdogs, of course, in the herd, but they're doing really, really good. Vince is on. Here, Maybelline. She still tries to act like a tough guy. What do you think? How are you been doing, Wildy? It's one of those things that maybe you don't like to see them get head butted and stuff like that, but they are goats. It's kind of inevitable. There's not much you can do about it. It is the picking order, huh? Huh, Daisy? Daisy is probably She's definitely the toughest in the group. She don't take much crap. <laughs> Maybelline, I want you to be nice. Stinker. And then of course when they get near us, the little ones are getting near us. We got Maybelline and Dreamer and Mayo. They don't like it. They want them to be oh. away from us, so. <laughs> Ruger. And as I told you guys, Ruger and Ray are just the talkers. So they they are still yakking at us to definitely get us out of this big doe pen. But they're still doing all right too. And it doesn't help, you know, this time of year, they're all in heat. Well, they're going in heat. It's, it's rut season, so they're extra aggy and grouchy and they want to take it out on the babies. Oh, real good. You're okay. Hey, Tippy. Hi. You're okay. Can I have my shirt? They have really eaten down a lot of this pasture. So, this is going to be the last day that they're in this one. What are you doing? I know. You're saying hello. Dixie! Dixie! What are you doing in here, puppy? Old Dixie girl followed us in. <laughs> it's alright. You're not a goat. Oh, hi, Dinky. You just want to eat my hair. Silly Dixie. You're going to have to carry her out, huh? Little Ray. Oh, no die. She almost knocked me out. All right, guys, so we're going to leave these does to browse for the day. Uh, we got to go get over there to those bucks because it's going to be a lot of work they need to get done so we can get them ready for breeding. All right, first up, we got the Luck Buck. Now, Lucky here is the oldest out of all the bucks we have. He's six, so by the time he has babies again next spring, he is going to be seven. And 
Matt's getting up there in age, so I really, really, really love this boy. Um, he's been good to us, and he has given us a lot of really beautiful babies, and he really, really wants me to smell really bad. But that's okay, because I'm already, I was set for it. I know I'm going to be stinky, huh? But he's being a good boy. Now, Lucky here um, loves, loves, loves his, bait, his bath, so we're going to start by giving these boys a bath. Um, that might seem silly, considering they're just going to go right back to peeing all over themselves, like he's doing to my boot and trying to eat my boot. But, uh, but I like to do so um, just simply because they get so much caked on urine on them. It's, it just makes their hair all nasty and stuff. So my boys get a few, ba a few baths a, a year at least. So since uh, I got them out and I have to give everything else, their copper, their selenium, their CDT, their wormer, all that good jazz, I'm just going to go ahead and give them a bath. So you ready? Are you ready? And he's looking pretty rough. His hair is from all the darn urine. All right, there. I tell you what, when bucks are in rut, they are a different. All right, Lucky, go ahead and wrap yourself around. Come here, buddy. We're very, very lucky here in Arizona because it is almost October, and we still got warm weather, huh? Warm enough I can give you a bath, and it doesn't hurt. It's not cold. Lucky here is completely bald on the top of his head now because he has been... A new favorite thing to do is scratching his head on his fence. And it has made him look like a monk. Oh boy. <laughs> you look like a monk buck. What do you think about that? Here, let's get your face. Oh! That wasn't funny. It was pretty funny, actually. It was not. probably actually getting a little mad. He's worked so hard to get that cologne thick and stinky on him, huh boy? But you do love your baths. I'll tell you what, with six bucks, they get stinky. All right, you ready for suds? Hold on, boy. I don't use special shampoo. I don't use special goat shampoo. Not on the bucks. The bucks get dawn. And it's not going to mess with their pH, I've heard people say before, or anything like that, because I don't bathe them weekly, like people might do a dog or anything like that. And there is nothing you can buy that will cut through this urine better. So that's why. I use dawn. Come boy. You've got such a thick neck. Lucky just thinks it's massage time, don't you? Kind of is, huh, buddy? Yeah. Their hair always looks so much better, too, when they're bathed. I got a legend we will be bathing next but it's like man they urinate on themselves so much almost bleaches the color of their hair so but tis the season huh boy you smell those girls they've been so rowdy with each other haven't you yeah you're doing all right you're being a good boy uh, another reason I do like to bathe them too is they, well, they urinate on the back of their legs a lot. Their chest, their face. Um, because I know I'm going to get the question, why would they do that? It's just, it's just in their nature. It's what they do and then the does go crazy for them. 
I don't know why. But that is them. But anyway, they can get urine scald. And he's looking good. He doesn't have any. But just because of so much pee, they'll actually burn right through their skin and they can get really bad sores. So always keep an eye on that on your bucks for sure. Ready? Good boy. He's a good boy. You like it, huh? Like the boys get spa day too. He'll go right back to making sure he covers himself in urine again, but at least it won't be so, so caked on him all over his whole body. Huh, boy? Okay, all done. Now we gotta put you on another tree and let you dry, huh, bub? All right, I'm gonna get the majority of this water off you. Up next is Mr. Legend. Now, Legend here is actually a half brother to Lucky, um, and he is. He's only a year and a half old, and man, he's gorgeous. He is very, very big bodied, so he has grown very, very awesome. Uh, we did use him for breeding last year, and he, he did the job, and he did the job well. He, legend here, loves to drink off of the hose when we fill, the, when we fill their waters. Him and Lucky both just go right up to the end of the hose and take a drink. He probably won't right now. You want a drink? Yeah. You love it? Not right now, eh? So. And he did pretty good the last time I gave him a bath. Because he went to shows this year also. And he did very well. In one of the rings, he won first place in his class. Uh, out of like 16 bucks that were his age, so that's where you belong up there in the front, huh, buddy? And he has these Elvis bangs, too, that how can you not love? You did have a little bit more when you were younger, though. Oh, sorry. And now he just rubs his head on everything, like your brother. So, they're kind of breaking off a little, but aren't those cute? <laughs> now this guy was um, last year. He was the last kid born out of all of them. And as soon as he hit the ground, I knew that I wanted to keep this boy. And it just so happens to be the very last kid that our found one of our foundation does old miss grandma Lacey had so i knew i wasn't getting any more babies out of her and just felt very fortunate that she had this beautiful boy for us to keep huh especially since lucky's getting up in age and i say with a buck you get about a good eight years out of them um so that actually makes me very, very sad to think that Lucky is approaching that. But that's just an average. I have a feeling Nuck Buck is going to be in action for much longer. What do you think, Legend? Legend says, well, I'm going to be in charge here soon. <laughs> he wants to be in charge, don't you, buddy? Okay. Are you thinking wet enough? I think so. You just want to be tangled? When he was younger, you could <laughs> see his moon spots really well, but now they're kind of just hidden in all of that long, beautiful hair, huh? Yeah. 
this dude here too, like when I had to just butt him or when I had to give a copper or shots, anything like that. He kind of just gets mad at me for a couple weeks and gives me the cold shoulder. But he always ends up forgiving me after a while. But he holds grudges, man. He's a grudge holder. Aren't ya? I don't get mad at you for getting me stinky. I don't. Your bangs are glorious, okay? Let me clean them up a little. <laughs> so Lucky is the buck in charge, for sure. And this little guy, oh gosh, not little, since he was a little guy just yesterday, it feels like, he uh, has also wanted to be in charge. So honestly, I'd give it another year, two tops, before Legend here is definitely top, top goat of the boys. I think that right boy. He just has that personality. And he did when he was like, even just a couple days old, he was just in charge of all the little goaties he was hanging out with too. When they wrap themselves up perfectly so that they can't go anywhere, it makes it easier. You got rolls under your beard, man. You guys can't see them, but dang. You got them dairy wrinkles. Mike, you're good, mister. Come there. Almost in the way. I see bubbles there. All right. Get your beard one more time. Get those pretty bangs. All right, good job. <laughs> Let me dry you off before you get in that mud puddle. Look at those bangs. You look beautiful. You yeah, look all pretty for the girls. Now we have this pretty boy, Everest. So Everest here is three years old. He's gonna be four by the time he has babies on the ground again. Um, and he's definitely the sweetest buck that, that we have. He's so chill, just complete chill. The other bucks can just be messing with him and nagging at him and he's just kind of chilling. That right, boy. Come here. Oh, I know, I know. He's got such long, pretty hair. Ooh, look at that flat back. You're all right. Yeah, see, he doesn't really like this much. Not like Lucky and Legend anyway. Look at your glorious beard, huh? You got a long, pretty beard. This is a son out of Elsa. He's a good boy. He did really, really well in the ring this year too, huh? He even won a reserve, but placed very well in, in his age group every time. So they liked his big old deep body, which seems to be way deeper than it should be for a three-year-old, but that's okay. And when you shave all of this, he's got all of those dairy wrinkles like crazy. You're just like a big wrinkle, aren't you? The wrinkles are just super, super cool because all it really means is thank you so Oh, still, okay. All it means is that uh, their skin is very pliable, which it should be, and they're extremely dairy because if they pass on that very pliable dairy skin to, say, a daughter or even a buck, then their udders are going to be pliable and fill very nicely. Hold on, mister. Let me get your chest. I need your chest. It's okay. All right, let's get the face real quick, real quick. 
Okay. Oh. All that hair. <laughs> Everest here has some has produced some very beautiful kids. Haven't you? Ah, I mean, you're getting you're excessive with it. Like a lot. Can you clean your pretty beard? Your big long beard. If you handle your bucks enough, typically. They'll behave for you. Nope. Nope. I thought it was gonna pee on me. There we go. Anyway, typically they'll behave for you. Especially if they were a bottle baby. That's the ticket. However, I definitely breed for temperament as well. Like if you got one that's just aggressive and mean, I don't know. They have no, no place in my herd because you really wouldn't believe how much that gets passed on to the kids. So before you know it, even if you got a very beautiful buck who's throwing very beautiful kids, you're gonna have a lot of jerks because it really does pass on. You're not gonna climb that tree, are you, Lucky? No, he's like, how do I untie this so I can run over to those ladies? Not gonna work, Lucky. I got you in there good, boy. I know, the worst part. You make me wrap you around that tree, dude. Perfect, thank you. It's always so fun to see them through each each year of development. Because man, they change quickly. And the bo the bucks, they're just so masculine. Or at least they're supposed to be. Oh! If they're not, it's not a good thing. You're gonna get that camera all wet, boy, stop. Come here. You did good. Good boy. I know. I know. All right, you guys. So bath time was fun. Um, we're going to get three bucks done today because uh, that's all I got time for and the other three we'll do tomorrow. But what we're going to do now is get each and every one of them on the stand. They all need their copper, their selenium, their CD&T wormed, and their hooves trimmed. So um, if you guys need to know how to do that, we have several videos on, on the how-to and the why of all of those things. So just click here. Let's get started. <laughs> of the bucks done and this girl needs a shower all right so you guys have probably noticed these little dudes in the background they're just super cute there's really not a lot that they do other than just lay here um, and if they're not laying here then they're eating 
but they're doing really good. They're growing really fast now. And they're just cute. What are you doing? Pigs whole life, that's all they want to do is eat. Eat, 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 eat. Oh girl. So Miss Pig, because they're six weeks old, and Miss Piggy has been just trying to kick them off of her a little bit and not really letting them nurse as much. So she's already trying to start to wean them. But uh, they still, anytime Miss Piggy lays down on her side, they are right there to nurse. But a lot of the times she'll, she'll lay on her nipples so that they can't get to her. So she's weaning them. And they're big little dudes. They're definitely eating well. And the fact that she didn't have 10 to nurse they're getting all of it, and I think they are definitely benefiting from it. They are healthy little boogers. Aren't you? She's still my favorite. Let me see. Okay, okay. You're so cute. <laughs> they hate to be picked up. Very different than a goat. All right, I'll let you rest. All the girls are being good. All sitting there with full bellies. They've been watching me work. So what I've been doing for the past couple hours is setting up this new pasture area. Because today is the last day for the girls over here. And tomorrow they'll be running into this new lush Eden here. Here's going to be my new gate. That'll just open to right here. So when they come down this lane in the morning, they won't run into there. They will run down and into this area. So this, this trail right here is actually one of the big berms that I put here, uh, oh, who knows, a while back. And it caught a lot of rain, as you can see, and it grew up a lot of stuff, so. I just weed eated all this stuff, put the fence up, and you can see this is a pretty, pretty lush environment. Lots of stuff for them to nibble on. They are gonna look so cool in here tomorrow, mowing this down. Yeah, this is a big, nice area. It's probably not an acre, but everything's, you know, four to six feet tall, so it, it'll do. I kind of keep these trails mowed because it reminds me of greener places. But yeah, it goes all the way over here to, to almost my shop. And I kind of got it set up to where I can move the, uh, the pigs from here to here if the pigs are still here when that time comes. But yeah, all the way over there to the, to the edge and all the way back. Now all that's really left to do today is uh, get cleaned up, have some dinner, run the goats back. getting the rest of the bucks clean and ready for breeding. So first we're gonna run all of these does out to their new pasture. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Let's go. Emily, hold just for a second if you can. Come on, Emily, go. go Emily, go. Go, go.
Got them all. That was, well, that was a success. Come here, Dinky. There you go. Loda, you be nice. That is your baby. Look at them together. They look so different now. Loda just blends right in. <laughs> so does Vogue. They're so small. Okay. All right, all the babies are getting grain, right? Yeah. We got Ray and Wildy over in the other one. Okay, good deal. So, this is a really large paddock, but, I'm out of breath, guys, sorry. But these weeds in here, it's kind of a cool one because these weeds in here are so tall and they absolutely love this stuff. So, they'll, they'll be really happy in this paddock. And little Bessie, um, we've been kind of really nervous about it actually because for like the past four days she's been testing the fence and, and jumping out. And that's not good because if she doesn't fear the fence then obviously we can't browse her um, and you can't just have a goat one pen up. We want the does browsing so again if she won't stay in the fence that's not good as far as her staying here in the herd. So I'm really really hoping that she stops trying to test the fence for one and just stays in but we soaked all the way around really really good today so if she does test it she's gonna get zapped hard again hoping that's not gonna happen hi Wilby. hi baby you found the other one so we put these here and that's kind of how we get them to run because they want their little treat so we put these in here and then we pour their grain, but we got two different spots now because before in the other one, um, we just kind of had them together and the does didn't really get much food or get much grain. So we want them to be happy to run over as well. So now, now they get grain. So we've had some questions as far as why do we run the goats? Um, well, because we want them for one, we, we have to get across the driveway and we don't want to put up any um, barriers or, or fencing across our driveway. So we gotta run them to the other side of our property from where they are penned up. Um, and if you run them, then they're all gonna follow and they'll just stay, stay as in one herd. If you're just kind of slowly walking, they're gonna be spread out everywhere. So. All right, I'll show you guys around a little. Tall weeds. So, it, it does go back further this way as well. And there's more grass. So we'll go through here. And they, if they were going to be in here long enough, they would definitely eat all of this off. It's like their favorite thing to eat. 
Ray. Babies. Come on, I'll show you girls around too. So, let's see. Fence is hot, guys. All kinds of stuff for them to munch on. You girls, I can't walk. Come on. Oh, all right, come on. We got to get out of here. Come on. Check it out. What do you girls think? What do you think? It's not as big as it looks. <laughs> it's pretty big. It's awesome. Like a jungle in here. And this is the all-time favorite tree. I think, yeah, once the dolings figure out this area, they're gonna be having fun on that tree. Like they loved the one in the backyard. They were climbing all over it. It was pretty cute. And look. goats and trees. Daisy, you want to come on this tree? There's a Maybe secret spot right in there. Oh, yeah, a little hiding spot. Here, pick up Lita and put her on the tree so she knows. Get her. Get her. You're so heavy. So pretty. Oh, <laughs> she's so heavy. Oh. Look, girl. Oh, Willie's like, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> there you go, girl. What do you think? You think Cassie's right here. You're going to get going, aren't you? Do you want to try it, Daisy? Oh, look at Bessie. Yeah, she's like, okay, let's go see. Go ahead, girl. Testing, yeah. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Watch right, Bessie. Bessie, I need you to stay in this fence today. Do you understand? I love you. She's begging. <laughs> you have to stay in. Let me get that needle. You understood that, didn't you? Yes. All right. Pretty so Good soft. babies. Have a good day browsing and all of this new food, okay? Wilderness. All right, so we gotta get these three boys uh, all cleaned up and ready for breeding. <laughs> so we brought them all over here. Champ is being loud over there. But first up, uh, we have Mr. Vader here. Well, Vader is a year and a half. Um, he is all new blood to the rest of our herd. So I was happy to retain him. Um, and also in his lineage, uh, his grandma is Belladonna who is the only Nigerian to win at nationals twice. So he comes from really, really excellent lines. Um, and I just love the boy. He's a sweetie. So let's get him bathed. He's just a sweet boy, aren't you, aren't you? Oh, it's just a little water. He knows. Just like, get that away from me. All right, come on, Gusta. Come on. It's okay. It's all right. You're gonna make this difficult, huh? Well, okay. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. Okay, fine. You gotta get you wet, mister. Sorry. I know. Don't be mad. The water part's just a little bit. <laughs> Oh, you can see that dirty water falling. <laughs> He's mad. I'm sorry. One drink. Okay. He is also developing really well. Now Vader here is out of quads and they were premature. He's actually a full, full brother to Miss Vogue. But yeah, they were premature and just super, super small. And we actually lost the tiniest one who was like the size of this Dawn bottle, like just tiny, precious thing. But anyway, Vader was super, super little when he was born. 
but he is growing nicely for a little preemie dude. Aren't ya? Yes. I think you're about done. Just get your belly. Oh, I know that's the worst. Okay, dude. He's also my silent goat. He's about as loud as you will ever hear this goat. Huh. Come here. Now this part's not so bad, okay? Nope. Oh. You're definitely more of a buck this year than you were last year. Personality-wise, that is. Little more defiant, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> that stinker. Are you just trying to get me back for bathing you? I can tell on some of these bucks here, man. We're starting to get a little bit of fish tail. Some worse than others, but so definitely time for their copper. Let's get the back of your legs, buddy. We gotta make sure we do that, huh? Other one. <laughs> oh, that one's quite caked. Caked in pee, I know you work so hard. All right. It's all right. Just stay still. This will be over quicker. Don't bite me. Don't do it. Yeah, all right. Good boy. Look at that beautiful long neck. You are pretty. Pretty, pretty. And this boy didn't go to a show this year. Only got room for so many bucks. Are you just going to be a turn? Well, I'm just going to do this then. I'm not gonna fight ya. Here, go the other way. Wrap yourself up a little. There, buddy. Is this his first bath? It is not. He knew right what was happening. He <laughs> In the very beginning, I grabbed the hose and he was mad. I know, we're almost done. Almost. You're making it take longer. If you would cooperate. Ah! You're cutting me, aren't you? Now look, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna dry you off. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. <laughs> All right, next up is Merle Merle here. Um, Merle is four years old. He is such a good boy. He's a pretty boy. He is a son of Lucky, and he is also a son of May. So, he's a good boy. Lovely. He is also... He does pretty good with, with, with bath. I think he gets it from Lucky, but hopefully he'll continue that. Yeah, there we go. You love it. Good boy. This is also a Lit Eyes Daddy. Huh. <laughs> Little lit eyes, Daddy. Your hair is looking rough, boy. Looking rough. They love scratching themselves on things and putting bald spots all over them. None, luckily, are as bad as Lucky's top of his head. That looks ridiculous. You're being a good boy, Merle. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You gotcha. Oof. I know. You get you good and wet, buddy. You're doing so good. Yeah, 
got a lot of down and hay all stuck in here. We got the girls right over here, and the babies, of course, are staying close and keeping an eye on me. They're being super, super good right now, so, and I got these collars on tight for these bullets. We don't want no accidents, do we, mister? They can't even hear you, Vader. Vader. <laughs> They're all good. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Go. I'm actually just in awe of this beefy neck right now. We're almost done. You were being so good. Not wrap around. Remember, boy, there, buddy. You're being so quiet, too. Don't go nowhere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you for being such a good boy. Go get the towel. There we go. Okay, you're getting the A plus for behavior, mister. Big baby. It's okay. All right, so this is Champ here, and he is always last because he is the most difficult. Um, he's really not too difficult, but he's definitely the crazy one. So it seems you always gotta have one crazy one, right? This is that guy. So, he was not a bottle baby or anything like that, but he did come out of uh, May's mom, who is Obi, um, and it was her last kid, actually, that she, she ever had. So, he's a good boy. He just, he just doesn't need human interaction in his life. He just doesn't like it. So, he's not aggressive, but he is very, very strong. And if he doesn't want to do something, he just doesn't want to do something, so... So, this will be fun. Let's hope he behaves for me today. Well, you're being cute trying to kill that tree. Standing in a mud hole. Okay. All right. You're okay. Beefy boy. Champ here is five years old. So he's, he's definitely still, you know, he's kind of in his prime, really. But he's getting up there in age as well. He's going to be, you know, six when his babies hit the ground next year. <laughs> He'll be a six-year-old daddy, huh? <laughs> yeah. And then he gets to talk, and he's the talker out of the boys, man. He's always... Oh. What was that? I'm sorry. You want a drink? No. All right. He's always blubbering and yakking, aren't ya? 
Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna be careful not to get wrapped around this boy. As soon, this is also a really cool thing, as soon as ADGA finally does my milk test results and puts them in the system, which apparently is not a top priority with everything else they have going on, um, this boy will be a, a plus B buck. Now what that means is he had three daughters that all earned their milk stars, and those three daughters have to come from different does so that it, it shows he's passing on some good genetics. And if I, I didn't mention it about Lucky either, but Lucky will also be a plus. So that is just awesome, and I can't wait. For they finally get it in the... In the Get everything uh, ironed out, whatever's going on with the website. So, I'm trying to be super patient with it, though. There's lots of issues going on with APGH. Alright, I think you're good and wet. What do you think? It's okay to stay. It's okay. This is the easy part. So as far as who's in charge, luck, as far as the box, who's in charge anyway, it's definitely lucky. But this guy is number two, for sure. And uh, he just, just doesn't mess with Lucky. So it's always kind of like that when we, when we breed them. You gotta, you know, all the bucks are gonna go into separate pens. And then when you join the, the bucks back into their own bachelor pad together again, when we're done breeding, I always wonder who's gonna be in charge the next year because you never know. They're going to battle it out for sure, every time. That always makes me kind of nervous. I don't want Lucky to not be in charge. <laughs> At least the luck buck, huh? Huh, champ? You would like for him not to be in charge, I'm sure. You're a good boy. He's behaving <laughs> better than I expected. So, I'll take it. Sometimes he's pretty good. Sometimes he's like, get away from me. That's why he's never gonna go to a show. Nope. Uh. <laughs> All right, we can do this. Don't. Wrap yourself that much. <laughs> I know. It's all right. That's that's not gonna work, buddy. That's not gonna work. <laughs> it's okay. You're making those girls talk about. All right, boy. Yeah, he's a loud mouth. I know, I know. It's, oh, oh, lost my hat. <laughs> okay. Try that again, eh? Get you dried off. Poor baby getting picked on. <laughs> I know. He's always the worst with his wormer shot. He's 
gonna be mad at me after today. Aren't ya? Let's go, mister. So we had Lucky, Everest, and Legend, who I believe, oh, he's right there, were put in here yesterday while the other bucks stayed in the other buck pen. And now we just added the other three. So Merle, Vader, and Champ. So as I was mentioning earlier, now they have to figure out the pecking order again, who's in charge, blah, 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 because they were separated for one night. Boys are a lot of work. <laughs> all right, so as I said, the boys are a lot of work, but I'm glad I feel good that I got all that done. They are now ready for breeding. So they're just gonna wait on their ladies. And we are keeping them in the A-frame um, pen here because we're gonna get their their pen all, all clean and maybe do some other stuff in it. Bye, boys. Be nice. See you later. All right, guys. So most of you know that we actually um, let you guys know that we were active on Etsy and that we were able to sell our soaps finally. And I just want to say thank you so, so very much. Um, the responses that we got, all of the wonderful feedback. We pretty much sold out of what we had listed um, and just, just beside ourselves. Um, just went really, really well, and we just can't thank all of you enough. Uh, this here is my daughter, Alexa, and couldn't have even been possible without her. She's just been just a huge, huge help um, and a big part of this machine, actually. So um, we are just, again, very, very excited that it went so well. Um, and as, again, you guys have been messaging, messaging us like crazy, when are you gonna have more soap, more soap, more soap? Um, well, we've been actively making the soap steadily. So um, this Thursday, actually, right now as we speak, uh, for those of you who didn't get a chance to buy the soaps that you wanted, uh, we are listing more. So we are gonna have, this one here is terracotta. This one Alexa made and it is just beautiful. Um, it's actually kale and clay. So and then we got this maple bar here that is also extremely beautiful. I love the swirl in this maple bar. Um, so it's got the maple in it, which is gonna give a super awesome lather. Um, and it also has cocoa, turmeric, and annatto. So this is a really great bar. This, we did have this one listed. It is the, this one is the carrot. I gotta look again. Hold on, this one is the turmeric, carrot and beet pulp. And this one went super, super fast. So you guys really, really like that one. Um, and then we got, this one again is the rose hips, alphanet and cocoa. This one we did have listed also last week and went super fast. And then we had our absolute favorites too, you guys. Um, they went into bestsellers really quickly and multiple people still have them in their cart. We're trying to keep these ones listed, but it's been kind of difficult to be honest. So the honey oatmeal, um, the rose clay, of course, the plain uh, white gold and um, the lavender. So lavender guys, we do not have any lavender right now. It's a little devastating for both of us, I would say. 
um, we had a ton of lavender and they all oh, went, nice. yeah, and they went just really, really quick. So unfortunately, of course, we have a bunch of loaves that we have made, but they have to cure for six weeks. So we're about five weeks out for lavender, guys, but we are on it and hopefully we won't run out like that again. We're just going to make sure that we don't. So another new one here. This is just rose petal. Um, so it's it's very mild bar, it's just kind of the plain, but we, we put roses on it just to see, it looks pretty. And then here is another one, uh, the Brazilian clay. I got a lot of uh, comments about the Brazilian clay. So this one is just a plain bar, because not everybody likes lavender um, or any scent whatsoever. So this is just a real mild uh, Brazilian purple clay bar. So that is it, you guys, there you have it. Those are gonna be our new listings. Um, and again, we're just gonna continue to bang out soaps. And if you guys haven't bought any yet, please go check out our Etsy shop. It is in the description below. Um, if you have received your soap and you love it, if you guys would go to the Etsy shop and actually leave a review, that, that really helps us out also. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you again next week, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm. Cody! <laughs>